Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be going ahead and checking out the new holiday event that starts today. It is the Summer Nights Holiday Event that starts here in the last couple days of June and rolls until July. As you can see, Summer Nights are here. Bust out the picnic basket and feast on these delicious deals. Summer Nights are on in Garden Warfare 2 and that means sticker packs are 20% off through July 5th. And before we get into details with that, I do want to say I am excited that Packs are 20% off, and we will be spending 1 million coins today on 20% off packs, so hopefully we'll be able to get a lot of awesome stuff. I do have to say, I'm a tiny bit disappointed because I was hoping we would see something new this time around, but this is actually the same thing we saw for the... Valen Brains, I always forget the name of that one. The Valen Brains February holiday event was the same thing where we had 20% off through, you know, a period of time. So, I was sort of hoping for something new. You know, you guys have also shared your opinions with me and I agree that I definitely want to see a double XP or double coin weekend at some point. Hopefully we end up seeing that soon because summer is the perfect time for something like that just because you know it influences everybody to pick up the game who might have not have been playing it too much and enjoy it throughout the summer enjoy some double coins or some double xp or whatever it might be but either way not you know no need to dilly dally about that in today's episode we have a bunch of coins to spend on a bunch of packs of course we can get 20 percent more packs than we normally would during a million coin spending spree so it's almost like we have a 1.2 million coin spending spree which is pretty cool with me i figure it's pretty interesting because it's like right now i don't know which packs i should open I have every character in the game, so there isn't a specific pack I should open for characters or legendary characters, so I really should probably start with the Frontline Fighters pack. Let's open up a couple Frontline Fighters just because of the fact that I want to finish a couple more sets if I have the chance to, and maybe pick up a couple legendary hats, but I really don't know which ones I even need at this point. We got the Diamond Spittoon set, the Gold Knight set, the Gem Plague Doctor set, the Gem Bonehead set, and the Weedwood Shield. So, so far, looking like we're getting a lot of gem stuff. I'm really not sure what the course will be when it comes to unpacking things in today's video, but hopefully we get some good stuff. We got the Gem Derby set, the Spaced Out set, that's new. The Spaced Out set again, so two new pieces and the gem ball set whenever we get a new or gem item yeah that means that entire line of that specific item is done so that's always good to see and i won't be doing an entirely frontline fighters focus unpacking today but it will be you know a decent little chunk of what we end up doing we got the gem middle ages set the gem cosmos set the diamond alchemy set the diamond knight set and the brown coat zombie so we are really starting to clean up on most of our sets like i'm still waiting for the astronaut Oh, look at that! Hey, look at that! We got a legendary hat! Man, I, I didn't even know if there were any more legendaries like get out of the Frontline Fighter set, but here we go! The Hot Beans legendary hat for what looks like the Super Brains. Very cool, so we'll try to show that off soon. We got the Silver Joust Star set. The Joust Star set again, but this time for his face. Uh, Silver Rocket Scientist set and a P Gatling. Not bad. An early legendary, that's really awesome. So let's go ahead and keep going. Hopefully that is just the beginning of the legendary fun. You know, of course, having legendaries during the summer, that sounds like a good time. We got the gold Mayan pirate set, the silver medieval set, the bandit set, ooh. That might be my last bandit set item. That's really exciting. The gem mine set and a screen door zombie. I really think that might be my last piece for the bandit set. Very, very cool to see. Hopefully we can see. Like that's sort of like one of the most exciting things I have right now when it comes to unpacking items and you know secret packs and stuff is that I love finishing the sets off. We got the gem rocket scientist set, the gold medieval set, the exploding imp, the silver cosmos set, and the silver spaced out set. I think we'll go ahead and we'll buy two more of these frontline fighter packs before we move on to other things. Ooh, because I know there's still probably some base set legendaries I can get, but we got the Gem Z Egyptian set, the Silver Miner set, the Silver Raider set, the Diamond Prospector set, and the Self Revive. So let's go ahead and do one more for now. See what else we can get inside of here. Hopefully something good. Okay, not too bad. Looks like a lot of a uh, three pieces. No, 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 that's not true. We got the Diamond Mayan Pirate set, the Cowboy Bean set, the prehistoric pre or silver prehistoric set, the silver Cowboy Bean set, and the Terracotta Weed. Okay, not bad. I would say we got some pretty good stuff there. And I want to move to probably the Extraordinary Pack and the Wonders Pack of Greatness, or no, probably these two. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll check which legendary base set hats I have, because if we haven't finished off the base set legendary hats, I want to figure out which ones I still need, and then we'll work off of that. So I didn't really realize that I just went and through and check. I guess I already do have all the base set legendary hats. If you don't know what I mean, I'm talking about all the legendary hats that released with the game's launch back in February of 2016, not added after DLC. So 
With that being said, maybe I should try some Zany Zimbopolis packs, because I'm pretty sure there might be some legendary hats in there we haven't gotten. But yeah, you know, that would be stuff like the ice cream legendary hat for the corn, or maybe the, the bat hat for the soldier. Those were all launched with the game. I guess I have all those, but for right now, we'll go through this. We have the honey head, the dandelion weed, the silver cotton candy, the silver boots by brains, and the gem bear skin. So we got a new item there for the chomper. That's pretty good. It's all gonna be cosmetics though, unfortunately. I mean, the only thing, actually, I definitely will unlock some launched game packs later. Gem for a, for, for a kind, because I, I'm looking for something. Gem Slick Swimwear, Gem Superstar Shades, Diamond Chipped and Chap, and the Brown Goods Zombie. The one thing I'm looking for is the last statue I need for the, you know, the backyard accessories, like the little statues you can spawn in. I, I need one more of those. If I can get that in today's video, I'd be really excited. Anyways, we got the Silver Honey Head, the Unsolvable, oh, I really like that one, the Diamond, Diamond Knitting Club, the Silver Kernel Four Eyes, and the Screen Door Zombie. Man, I have a lot of, I'm pretty sure I already have a lot of uh, Zany Zombopolis, but it's good to finish up more of them for sure, and ooh. We got the Gem Hollow Zomba Eye, the Porcelain Face Weed, the Silver Sandy Stems, the Gold Dyed Handlebar, and the Gold Melon Head. Then moving on, open up another one of these guys. I am glad we already got a legendary hat today. Like that's already blown me away. But we get the gem incubu incubu the incubator. That's for some reason a big tongue twister for me. The gem cyber breather heal zombie gem grape bushel and the gold boots by brains. We are at least finishing up a lot of item sets with all the gems and everything. That's really good to see. We're definitely getting more items than we averagely, you know, on average would because it's 20% off. The novelty windmill shades, those are super cool. I like those. The vase weed, the gold forehead goop, the silver bony boulders, and the silver shaky spikes. Let's do. We'll, we'll do another two. We'll go all the way down to this net, the pack after this, and then we'll move on to some base set stuff. But we got the gold honey head, the silver wobbly wheel, flagweed brick hands, and gold sparring gear. That's a new item, at the least. I always get the new commons after I get all the super rares and stuff. It's so weird for me. Let's go ahead, open up one more under 500,000 coins. We're already halfway through. But we got the double birdhouse, another cool super rare, gold cold lips. P Cannon, Mr. Doodles, and Gold Bandana Bound. All right, then we'll go ahead and move on to the Extraordinary Pack. Or no, 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 not the Extraordinary Pack, the Wondrous Pack of Greatness. Basically, it should contain the same amount of items as these two do, but it'll contain both plant and zombie items, which is sort of what I want right now, because I can't decide whether I want plant zombie item or plant zombie, ah, plant items or zombie items. I don't know why I can't talk today, I'm so sorry, but the Diamond Future Shooter, Dot Spots, awesome, Uplink Bot, Gem Solar Panels, Silver Edible Mask, Diamond Warm, Fuzzy Bandana, and a Terracotta Weed. I didn't realize that silver thing were edible. I don't suggest it, okay? Just don't eat silver things. All right, we get so many items out of these, it's crazy. The bamboo shoot, the gold cereal mouth, the gold fish face, the gold tinted future mask, gem blindfolded with holes, or blindfold with holes, not blindfolded. Gold bright eye paint and a pumpkin weed. Well, let's keep going. I'm probably gonna buy a lot of these. Out of everything, just like being able to finish up some of these items is pretty good for me. We got the Pink Heart, another weapon skin, the Loudmouth Bond, Diamond Seeing Lamps, Diamond Thick and Pointy, Diamond Future Funk, Diamond Salty Sailor, and a Conehead Zombie. Getting a lot of diamond items. That's like the big theme I'm seeing for these packs. For whatever reason, that's what we're getting a lot of, but ooh. All right, a lot of super rares. Diamond Transitional Compounders. That name is so large, it barely fits on the name area. The Moss Raccoon, oh, that's cool. Hypno Shroom, Gold Galaxy Conquerors, Gem Jagging, Diamond Stack Tires, and a Screen Door Zombie. Which pack are you guys buying for this 20% off? I'd love to hear it. You know, if you are trying to finish up a, you know, a specific character or try to get a legendary hat. Ooh, we got the Diamond Hydrant Overlord, which of course is a special. Shower Cap, that's a new item. Karate Zombie, Diamond Glow Stick Stash, Silver Curly, Diamond Feather Dapper Cap, and the Newspaper Zombie. Good stuff, I'm liking that one. As long as we can occasionally get a new set of item, that's always good. But here we have... The, oh, look at that. Okay, no, I thought these were two of the same items. They're not. Uh, gold glow wings, diamond illumination arm, flag weed, diamond cat eyes, diamond floral circlet. <laughs> it's, just, it's like, it's so weird because it's like, I feel like I'm mispronouncing it, but I'm not. Grid glasses, that's new, and the terracotta weed. 
Man, we are starting to charge through the coins. I mean, when you you know do so many spending sprees, you realize like how quickly you can go through a million coins. The Doom Shroom, Diamond Metal Mouth, Silver Mandible Masquerade, Gold Open Barrel, Silver Zappy, Gem Potion Cowboy, and a Self Revive. Let's do a couple more. I really want that last statue. Because I know I can get out of these packs. I definitely saw a new item. The graffiti, that's really cool for the painter. Goob Shroom, a Diamond Funny Bunny, Hero Clubs, that's a cool hat. Gem Mix and Match, Silver Busted Frames, and a Brown Coat Zombie. Maybe if we hit like 100,000 coins and we don't get that uh, statue, I'll move back to the uh, the Frontline Fighters, because that's the one we had the most luck with. The Gold Glowy Ring Thing, the Junk Food, Snapdragon Pumpkin Weed, Claw Face, Diamond Gifts of Giving, and the Diamond Pale Blind. All right. It's crazy, because like I just, I'm finishing up so many items just in this video. Like All those diamond and gem and silver and gold, they take up so many slots in the sticker book, so we'll have to you know, go through that and see how much progress we've made. But we have the Hypno Shroom, the Silver Idea Generator, the Gem Fuzzy Buck, the Gold Shuttle, sh shuttle, yeah, shuttle Shock Shades, that is a tongue twister, the Caution Tape, that's new, Sunburn, also new, and the Conan Zombie. I'm liking getting new tattoos and everything too, because they're cool. The only thing I have a problem with is, oh, there it is, is that our last statue? It might be the Silver Thunder Zap, Silver Digi Denture, Lightning Reed, Golden Soldier Statue, Silver Rainbow Pops, Self Revive, and a Diamond Eye Patch Pattern. Very cool, I'm gonna go ahead and check right now. Right now, do we have every single plant one? We do, let's go on the zombie side as well and check, do we now have every zombie statue? That would be awesome. Come on now, where is there? I know there's one right here. Let's go check that out. And then we'll, of course, we'll continue with the spending spree. Oh no, we still have one more. So we, we, we've gotten the Super Brains, the Soldier, we've gotten the All-Star, Goat, Captain Deadbeard, Imp. I think we're looking for the Scientist. Looks like we're looking for the Scientist. Interesting, so we're gonna go ahead and continue with our spending spree, and maybe, just maybe, I can get myself the scientist statue, maybe we should just do zombies, uh, I don't know. We should continue with this, just because it's just fun and good to do this one. But I can't believe we actually had two more statues remaining. We got the Outhouse Zombie, the Diamond Rainbow Beard, the Diamond Heat Vision, Gem Cosmic Recruit, Party Pom Pom, Self Revive, and Silver Broccoli Goatee. So this was a new item, just an uncommon though, nothing crazy. Well, let's continue with that then. Man, I really want that last statue, that would be great. Ooh, we got the Vase Weed, Gold Lobster Bar, Silver Orbital Eyes, a Diamond Beauty Bouquet, the Gem Waras, Silver Straight Sight, and a Terracotta Weed. I don't know, like, I might just like leave enough room for one more Frontline Fighters pack, which was about 40,000, so we'll hold off for that, but in the meantime, I gotta go all gung-ho for this final statue. Diamond Glowy Ring Thing, Bamboo Shoot, Silver Monster Beard, Silver Paddle Vision, Weed, Silver Grid Glasses, and Goobers, ew. Gross. I'm not a big fan of that one. Okay, so what is gonna be in this one? Maybe a new item or two there, come on, ah. Uh. The Diamond Syrupy Waffles, Silver Traffic Trivocals, Karate Zombie, Gold Orbital Eyes, Gold Candle Lashes, Silver Boxes, Boxer Bonnet, and Buckethead Zombie. So nothing actually new there, that's totally fine. Let's see what we get in here. Ooh. Okay, Gold gold Power Vision, that actually looks really cool. Karate Zombie, Gem Seeing Lamps, Silver Broom Limp, a new item, Self Revive, Gold Haystack, and Diamond Snorkel Gear. So how many cards do we have? It's 49,000 left, this is 28,000 here, and this is 40,000. Even after, hmm, how much is it normally? Is it like 45,000 and 50? Probably like 50,000 then. I don't know, I can't do that quick math right now, apparently. I'm too tired. Well, it's open, oh no, I don't have enough. I, <laughs> well, no, I do, I do. Oh, okay, for a second. I misread it and I thought I had 39,000 coins, even though I just said how many coins I have. Either way, we'll finish it off with this. We got a lot less items than we normally do there. Gem Spittoon set, Mr. Freezy, Diamond Ancient Scientist set, Gem Inca set, Silver Ancient Artifacts set. I don't know if I just got spoiled by the other packs we were opening, but I swear that the Frontline Fighters had more than five on normal. How much does it say here? Okay, no, I'm just going crazy. <laughs> well, there we go, we have about 10,000 coins left that I have any way to spend that. It would probably be on the Minions Booster Pack. So let's go ahead and bust open some of these bad boys and of course just get some of these. Nothing super crazy in here. And you guys know, you guys are probably pretty comfortable with all the 
plant pots and zombie bots by now, so I'm not gonna go crazy over them. But it's just nice to get a few of these. I'm sure I will need them, because if you guys don't know, this Thursday, there is another boss hunt coming up. I was hoping it was going to be a brand new boss hunt, but seeing how this holiday event itself was a repeat off of the Valenbrains one, I'm honestly just not expecting it. I'm probably going to expect it's gonna be, my guess is a Sasquatch again. We're gonna see another repeat on the Sasquatch. Not the uh, Yeti King, but the Sasquatch, yeah. I always get this too confused for obvious reasons. But yeah, I think that's gonna finish it up. Let me know what you are spending your coins on now that there is a sale. And also let me know your thoughts on the Summer Nights holiday event. Are you enjoying it? All that kind of stuff I would love to hear. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Blend for the Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Summer so now you've watched in the video and you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. But also, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and click on some of the videos on your screen right now for more Zebra Tastic goodness. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.